How do you do? I'm John Tashi and this is Body Talk concerning knowing how deep to work. Um, let's see here. Um, you want a massage to be effective, so you kind of want to be working the tissue as much as possible. And yet, pain is clearly a, a bad thing. Clients don't like it, even though there's definitely that idea that uh, more pain is getting your money's worth or uh, deeper is better. No, I completely disagree with that. Um, if you look at any generic muscle, there's going to be tendons at both ends, muscle in between, and somewhere in that muscle is some damaged naughtiness. The idea is to get that to release. Normally, when the body experiences pain, it contracts against that uh, that pain. So, yes, we could work really, really deep and sort of rip up the knot, but that is going to take our existing muscle, and instead of just working the muscly part, it tensions up and can actually aggravate into the tendons, and that's how a really deep massage session can develop tendonitis. Um, an alternative to um, working really deep is um, what, what my preferred method. I work as deep as I can, and once I feel the muscles start to become a little tighter, then I back off a little bit. The, um, a muscle, if we look at it in cross-section, and it has a um, parts that are operating well, and then you have a part of the muscle that is tight, resistant, or otherwise torn up in whatever way, um, you want as much of the soft stuff to be soft and move out of the way so that you can actually address the tight part in the broadest terminology. So it's not very well serving the interests of the person on the table to go in and uh, beat them up past the point where they start to fight against you. That is just harder work for me, less comfortable for the client. And I find uh, the productivity is really good. In addition to just sort of localizing the muscle, I would hate to provide a massage and yes, I might have released an area, but now their body has this idea of like, oh, I feel trauma in this delicate area and now I'm going to tense up, normally it's actually tensing up the jaw, um, or, or clenching something else. So I don't want to initiate a, a bad muscle habit from working really deep. Um, Yeah, okay, so summary. Um, massage doesn't have to be painful, and indeed, um, a massage that is not painful can be more productive than a painful massage. Yeah, I like that. Okay, uh, this has been Body Talk, and I'm John Tachi.